Hello, my name is Amanda Walker. I'm a palliative care doctor from the Southern Highlands of New South Wales, and I also work as a clinical director at the Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare. Our e-poster is about asking the patient, the evolution of patient reported outcomes in research, policy and practice. The Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare is best known for the National Safety and Quality Health Service Standards, as well as the Australian Atlas of Healthcare Variation and Clinical Care Standards. The PROMS work that we're talking about today specifically connects to the clinical governance and partnering with consumer standards, but is also a tool for monitoring the comprehensive care plan in standard number five. So what do patients want? Well, Don Berwick, describes this really well. Don't kill me, don't harm me, don't do things that can't help me, reliably do things that can help me, relieve my pain, both physical and emotional, don't make me feel helpless, share information, don't make me wait, and don't waste money. So how do we know that we're doing it? How do we know that we're nailing it? Well, you have to measure it. And there's a move to using PROMS as leading indicators. PROMS and PREMS provide structured methods for collecting information from patients about the care they receive and the outcomes that matter to them. They provide a mechanism to identify improvements before harm occurs. Now, some of the challenges in using PROMS, selecting the appropriate tool, having PROMS integrated within clinical systems, the costs of implementation, and ongoing recruitment, maintaining response rates, preventing survey fatigue, and also ensuring equitable access in languages and on platforms that people are able to use. The Commission's work is focused on sharing evidence and information on PROMS by publishing a series of reports investigating the use of PROMS in Australia and internationally, and developing a website to host literature and evidence on the use of PROMS, including a list of validated PROMS and implementation case studies. This list of validated PROMs was developed in partnership with Macquarie University. It includes 315 validated generic and condition specific PROMs. It's identified a number of trends and issues in the use of PROMs and you can find out more by viewing our e-poster or reading our paper. Here's an example. If you look at one of the condition specific PROMs lists, you can see when you click on blood and metabolic, you can see all of this information, including appropriate links that you can click through to directly. So what's next? Well, a key challenge for the use of PROMS is the selection of appropriate measures. So we're developing recommendations on which of the validated PROMS are most useful to support clinician patient communication and quality improvement, and when these PROMS should be collected in terms of time points, and who should complete these PROMs in terms of patient cohorts. Then we want to help share success, so harness and support innovation around Australia with a facilitated network of implementers, information sharing workshops, and building on international work such as the OECD's Paris survey. You can contact us at any of these handles. Thanks so much.